Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. It's a Switch which be awesome, we are just outside the place doing the cool stuff. So, as I brush her worry off with a shrug, I think back to what happened ten years ago. When I woke up from that fever, the first thing I saw was Mayuri's crying face. She's right, I vaguely remember describing my collapse that way. And come to think of it, it does seem to match with the sensation I felt a few hours ago when reading Steiner activated. I see. So this power is already mine back then. That? There we go. Never interrupt the laugh. So that's the choice of Stein's Gate. I really was born with his power. I wonder John Titer thinks I'm the Messiah. My maniacal laughter echoes into the night. It's even evening. The next day, the lab gets an unusual guest. Oh, hey! Pardon the intrusion. Ooh. Oh, if it isn't Luca Shi. Hello, Hasida Hashida san, Okabe san. Luka go! You don't have Demon Sword Samadara with you. What is the meaning of this? Ah, <coughs> uh, eh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> I even unsealed the treasured heirloom sword, Mistiltine. When I heard you were coming today, I'm disappointed in you. Actually, I didn't know he was coming. I'm sorry, um, I'll go back again. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm not, it was not Miss Stiltine's fate to encounter Samadari this day. <laughs> Look out the window with an expression of melancholy. <laughs> but a Japanese sword with a curse and a curse sword from Norse mythology are so mismatched it's not even funny. Do we even have a sword here? It's like a viking and a samurai. And a knight. Oh, plot for a game. I forget the name of... What should I... Uh... Lukako. Though you are my disciple, you still lack dedication. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> At this rate, it will take some time before you can be useful. By the way... Why not join our lab? Uh, me? Yes, I could see something like that happening. Lukiko looks at me blank. But I'm clumsy. I'm not good at science or engineering. I'll probably just get in your way. Do you really need me? Don't sweat it, Yuri's the same. We'd love to have you. But you know, if Luki Kun's gonna be a lab ma'am, then Miyushi has one condition for our green. Don't tease Luki Kun. Mary forces her way between us as if we protect Lukiko. She's the one who called Lukiko here. They're classmates. And they have very similar hairstyles and faces. Some might even think that they're probably related, maybe. Hopefully not, though. That would be just a weird thing to think. And today, Luka Kun is Miyushi's guest. He came for a fitting session, so don't get in our way. I will slit your throat. But Miyuri chan, I don't really want to cosplay. Um, can it really just be a fitting session? Yeah, we're just making the size matches. Looks like Miyuri forced him to come. As far as she's concerned, pretty boys exist only to make her cosplay fantasies come true. Hmm, okay. Ta da! Ta da! Mary shows off the costume she made. This is a costume of Kiari Chan from Rynet. Is it just my imagination or is that outfit pretty skimpy? You're pretty skimpy on the details, my man. I don't know if it's his first time seeing it, but Lukiko just stares at the costume dumbfounded. Anyway, I'd say about 70% done, but I don't want Lukiko to try it on now. You know, 
before it's done. Try it on. Yeah. Lukiko glances at me and Darrow, and then looks down to hide a blush. I cannot. Please? Hmm. Here's Rai, as Lukiko and Master, ought to help out. Listen, my pupil. To change our clothes is to change our very, your very being. That costume might help you grow stronger. Put it on at once. <laughs> You're on her side? I just can't wear something so embarrassing. It's only embarrassing because you think it is. That's right. I'm sure you'll be really cute. Besides, Mary worked very hard to make this costume so you could wear it. That is horrible logic. Just because somebody spends hours doing a thing doesn't mean you need to indulge them. If they spend, like, 20 hours making a Ku Klux Klan outfit, you don't wear it because they made it for you. You burn it in a fire. I know I like to keep my political opinions a little separate, just because this is supposed to be a safe space, but I feel like uh, most people who watch that could agree on uh, that particular topic. And then my subscriber count immediately plummets. <laughs> she sacrificed her sleeping time, her favorite banana nourishment time, and her juicy chicken number one time, <laughs> just so she could sew and sew and sew. What is this sentence? <laughs> you can't let effort like that go to waste. That's true, but... The good nature of Lukiko is already bending to the power of my words. I am a god. Come on, look again. Transform. Tr Transform. Peer pressure. Wait a sec. Mary <laughs> grabs Lukiko arm, Lukiko's arm and drags him to the changing room. Okay, don't be shy. Now take off your clothes. Strip new for me. Ah, oh, Mirichan, please don't touch me there. I'll change by myself. Please wait outside. There's a little tricky putting this on, Mayu. She will teach you all the steps. <laughs> please don't address me. I'm so uncomfortable. This is a violation of my trust in you. It's so... Yuri. I mean... As much as I hate to agree with him, it is technically, by definition, Yuri. Homosexual right? Oh, I missed the one. Homosexual relation... Romance between women. Or works of fiction depicting such. In Norse mythology, a legendary sword born from the Sprig of Mistletoe. According to prophecy, the sword will slay the undying god Bald... Balder. Baldur's Gate. Thus beginning the final war of the gods, Ragnarok. That's not Yuri. Luke, he goes a guy. I'm going to irrefutably never stop saying this because I hate trans people. That's reverse, right? Whoa, that's downright crap. What is reverse, right? Ah! Ah! It's the same thing. Ah! It's the same thing. Thing, the sexes of the people involved matter or not. But it, it is, yeah, it is criminal, yes. <laughs> your heart's in the right place, even if your mind isn't. His imagination knows no bounds. Though I guess, I mean, is it technically rape? Ah. Uh. You see, that's the that's the act of of taking somebody for sex, not taking somebody so they can change their clothes. See, that's more of a like a sexual violation than a specifically rape, you know. I guess I've never I've experienced neither. I'm not really a like an authority on the terms, but I don't know. Seems a little like somebody in the comments educate me. I'm I'm genuinely like willing to learn. A few minutes pass, and out comes Mayuri first. She's the one wearing the clothes. Lukiko fucking defended himself. Herself. She looks satisfied. 
Come on, Luka Kun, don't be shy. Kuko does not make an appearance, even Mary calls him. Luka Kun. Finally, a nervous Lukiko comes out of the dressing room. Oh, diggity dang. A little short, but I like I like the top section. Like, if it were instead of a dress, a shirt, and then like actual pants underneath. But like if that were a shirt, that'd be real cute. Uh thus far it is just disturbing. <laughs> Look go looks like he's about to cry. I can already see the tears forming. <gasps> All right, then. Isn't a skirt a little too short? Is it a skirt? I don't actually know... I don't actually know the definition of a skirt. I'm fairly certain it counts as a dress, so not a skirt? I don't know. I don't, I don't know there. Those bare legs are truly capped it. Wait! Oh god, oh god! I'm looking at a guy's legs. What the hell am I saying? Ugh. Ugh. Hurts the dumb, stupid logic. But we press onward. Why is leg shaved? What's going on here, Lukiko? Um, the, the the trans woman who who wants to who wants to be feminine to to express herself. Trans man, tra you know, I've always screwed up the, the trans man woman like terms. Is it what? Is it their preferred uh, like pronoun, or is it what they started as? I've always, I've always been confused on that one. <laughs> Look at Kun finally wore one of my outfits. It's, it's so embarrassing. I'm, oh, now you're saying. Well, okay, then I guess I will refer to you as guy since that's what you've claimed is your pronoun. I can't argue that. I shouldn't be dressing like this. You know what they say, cuteness is justice. Never once heard that. I don't know what you mean. That's a really weird thing you just said. Excellent work as usual. The clothes and the model bring out the best in each other. Dude, bottom's too short. As far as 3D goes, fair as tan is supreme. But look at she almost makes me want to become a low angler. I'm afraid to look up this term, but... Cameramen who photograph female cosplayers and idols from a low angle can be found where cosplayers congregate, such as Kamima and Akihabara's Pedestrian Heaven. I was correct in uh, not wanting to learn that. Why would you... Like, I under I know why. The, the word why was irrelevant, but... Come the fuck on, people. Let's talk about you. What about you, Green? Oh. Uh, yeah, well... When urged to talk, I nod vaguely. I'm fascinated, but it's mortifying you admit that. Lukiko is Lukiko. Yeah, Lukiko is a man. Male. I mean... <sighs> Alright. I take back my previous comments because I now know the situation. But stop. Like, slow down. Just chill out. Cross-dressing is not that big of a problem. A man just shouldn't be fascinated by another man. Homophobic. <laughs> I whip out my phone and put it to my ear. Oh, this should be good. It's me. My sanity is under attack. No, it's not the organization. It's a descendant of one of the town's guardian Miku. God, it's infecting my soul. To think Kiba had such a power. <coughs> I need to get water. I'll be right back. Ah, I gotta love water. All right, where the hell was I? Um. Oh no 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 no! Cancel that, friend. To think Akiba had such a powerful guardian. If we can harness his power, we can counteract the organization's corrupting influence. I know. We can't hand the town over to those bastards just yet. This too. This choice of Stein's game. El Sai Kongru. I catch my breath, put away my phone, and turn back to smile at Lukiko and the owner others who are staring blankly at me. 
<laughs> you ever just cr be the crazy one in your group of friends? I'm not sure. I, I, I guess I have done it a few times. Occasionally when playing games together, I just go on in some insane rant. Which is, I love going on insane rants. It's so good. I wish I could do it more single player. Um... I, I, I had one particularly fun, insane rant that I uh, went on when I was doing uh, narration voice acting for a uh, for a, uh, a a Homestuck like thing. Man, that would have been so good. Oh well. Phew. Look you go, foolish disciple of mine. From now on, you shall go into battle equipped with that costume and samidar. All right, man. Eh. Kirari-chan yeah, doesn't have a sword. He should carry an Upa instead. <laughs> Alright. Mary, in high spirits, makes Lukiko hold the Upa cushion. I didn't know that's where the sentence ended. His lips tremble as he reluctantly accepts the cushion. He clearly doesn't know what to do with it. Your organization is making a move on Akiba. I pretend not to no notice Lukiko's distress. You are the guardian who protects the, this chaotic metropolis, Miko of Yanabayashi Shrine. Said it properly at the time. Nice. Now is the time for you to fulfill that duty. Now is the time of our discontent. Understand, Lukiko. This is the reason I'm so hard on you. You have a duty to protect this town. Do I? Really? <coughs> Jesus, these voices. I, I need a better I need better ones for these two, but damn. In the future, I'm just gonna not ever do a deep voice because my god. Ah, I know the hardships of real life voice acting. Not that I've done it. No one no one will hire me, but I am doing well. So you certainly do. Weird thing to uh, maniacally laugh at, but I'm not. I'm not against it. Go for it. Hey, can you stop that vulgar laughter? I can hear you from outside. It's embarrassing. Curious who enters the lab with those remarks. Remark. She's coming in late, like she's a company executive or something. Christian. <laughs> Man. You come here this late and you dare insult me? You call yourself my assistant? She doesn't, know. I'm not your assistant. Don't make me repeat myself. Every time you ask, I will repeat myself, but don't make me do it. I do it on my own terms. Anyway, you're the worst, calling us such a weak and innocent girl. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh, you're sexist too now? <laughs> Slightly less so. But, the whole idea of, like, uh, oh, you know, weak, innocent girl. Women can defend themselves. Like, maybe, maybe girls, you know, need, need some protecting, the same as boys, you know? Because they're young, by definition. But no, grown adult, grown-ass adults and teenagers, slightly less teenagers, they don't need protection. Teenagers need some protection, depending on their age. It really, really, really depends. Like, grown-ass adults don't need that kind of fucking treatment of, like... I'm not pandering. Um... Well, you know what I mean. Gone with a weak and innocent girl, you say. Don't make every little thing, you perv. Look at that blush on her face. That's right, Christina doesn't know Luke goes a guy. And also... You, once she does, she will immediately change her opinion. Oh, Luke goes a guy. Oh, take back the comment by not messing with them. Uh. Cracking it is a pain, so I don't say anything. Oh, hang on. Oh, hey, look at that. But I'm still bored. There's nothing to do all day. At least the pot, the pot, the pay is good. I don't tell the boss, but I've been polishing my bicycle at work, okay? I'll get fired. I'll be understand. Yeah, we're under this together, right? Reply. Ha! You made a fatal mistake. You've exposed your own weakness to me. I'll be saving this trump card for the critical moment. What? The Brontu workshop pays well? Maybe I'll apply as a part-time job in September. What do you mean, but? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> That's true. This isn't this isn't a reply. This is a full-on message. I'll go with this one. I like this one the best. <laughs> At any rate, it's the end of the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Person Kiwi. Congratulations on yourself. A delightful day. Goodbye.